and I just pick them up and I just hold them there. And if I can hold them there, I can throw them. The hardest part about throwing somebody is not the throw. It's picking him up and controlling his body. Okay? So we're starting out. This is a good drill I want to have you guys do where you just pick him up. Now we've been working on what we call Ogoshi, major hip throw. That's one where you grab around his waist and control him. So we're going to get better at that tonight. We'll take, some, take the rough edges off that Ogoshi. Okay, here's, here's one way to do it. So we grab each other. And remember, I start with my right hand on the lapel, left hand on the sleeve. And he's doing the same with me. I'm leaning slightly with my right foot. Everybody remember that, okay? I'm going to pull him up and break his balance, you know, upset his posture, break, you know, control his posture. Just pop him up here, both hands, with my left hand and my right hand, okay? Now, what I want to have you guys do, where you don't do the full throw, I just want you to turn around and pick him up and hold him on your hip. That's all I want you to do. Just hold him on your hip, okay? So you're going to break his balance, keep pulling. With your right hand, you're going to grab around his waist, and you're going to turn around and see how I put my hip back to the side and I just pick him up and I just hold him there. And if I can hold him there, I can throw him. The hardest part was holding him up. That's the hardest part. Can I have you do that on yeah. Now watch. Let's look at this again. Kind of get a different angle. Yeah, I'll see how yeah, far you can turn. Right. Now, he's going to break his balance. See how he pulls up both here and here. Eric with his right hand is going to grab around the waist, hold tight, and turn around. And he's just going to pick him up. He's not, not going to throw him yet. He said, I have control over him. So, you going to say so? Uh, judo style. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now all he has to do when he wants to throw him, go ahead and throw him. <laughs> so the hardest part <laughs> is controlling his body. <laughs> That's it. All right? That's what we practice on here. So here's the drill. It's going to be this. Okay? You're going to break his balance. Hold it. Grab around his waist real tight. Turn around. Pick him up. And just hold him there. Okay, that's good. I'll put it down. And then he's going to do the same to me. Yeah. Back and forth. We do that 10 times each. Right? Then we'll throw each other. But let's learn on controlling his body and then tossing. Right? Let's go get it. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay, okay Frank. Remember, get around that waist and get that hip out. Pick him up and control him. Where's my hand at? Break his balance and posture, turn around, pick him up. Good. When you step back, get about ten each. I'll do one, you do one, get about ten each. Here you go. Good. And you put it down now. That's fine. Okay, guys, let me okay, start wrapping it up. Let's see about one or two more each just to finish out. Just make sure you've got it before we do the throws. somebody is not throwing him, is picking him up and controlling his body. Well, now we're going to work on that portion of it, really picking up and controlling his body. Controlling the movement of an opponent's body is essential in judo. Now here's a drill that teaches the skills of controlling one's own body and the body of an opponent or partner. When a beginning student does this drill, it shows the student that he or she really does have the ability to control an opponent and then throw that opponent. This is an effective lead-up drill before teaching beginners how to use Uchikomi as a training drill. This drill is recommended for judo students at all levels of skill, especially for beginners, but all up to the intermediate level as well. The ability to pick an opponent up and off the mat and then control that person's body is a skill that has positive long-term effects for the development of technical skill in throwing techniques. Load him up. Just walk around with that guy. Just, just you know, control him. Yeah. And the better you place yeah, him on that hip, the easier it is on your head. Yeah, just don't have a traffic jam. Just kind of pick him up, walk him around. Good, okay. The other guy pick him up. Now pick him, the other guy pick him up and walk him around. Just control him. <laughs> Now you see, if you can do this to him, you know you can throw him if you can pick him up this way, right? Good. Is pick him up, fit him, we're going to do the pot stay on you. I'm carrying him back, we'll show you. We're going to walk him down, all the way down the mat, and then throw him. 
Okay, William yeah. Van here, he does it too. So, so here's the drill, guys. Okay, and the idea, so Eric's going to do it, and what, what he's going to do here with Jake, he's going to pick him up, he's going to fit in, there's a tonsil and nagi, he's just going to walk him all the way down with control, and he's going to throw him on the ground. And then we got to be Jake's turn. Okay? What this does, what this teaches you, is you to have complete control of your, of your partner's body, your opponent's body. Pick him up, fit in, and if you can pick and walk with him, like we were doing earlier in the drill before, and then you can throw him. And this really does help your throwing techniques. I've right? used this drill for years, and it really, really, really works. Okay? All right, so we'll let two groups like we did before. Okay? Is this yeah. That was a big call. Oh, Good, Phil. Good. Good yeah. technique. Go fast. All right, pick him up, walk him into the crash pad. Turn those shoulders big time to ditch it. There you go. Good. Pick him up, walk him into the crash pad. Good technique. Yes, good. 